Hello and welcome once again. It's been it's been fun, but this is going to be the the last video of the uh, of Portugal, and this is the last night. We're flying out tomorrow, early bells. About I think it's about eleven o'clock. I'm not percent sure, but we're getting up at seven. Well, before seven to get the uh, get the transfer to the airport, and then we'll be home around. So I've planned for this video. It's going to be part last night and part travel. So. Um, so as far as I know from my guess is we're going to get something and then probably that will be like the first section. If I feel like I've not got enough, uh, enough footage, I'll uh, try and do something in Scotland, take it off for a walk, do a quick recap of the whole thing. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoy it. We've been out, we've had a wee explore, we've uh, had some dinner, had a couple of drinks, so that's uh, that's really it for all the exploring part of the holiday unfortunately, so I'm going to cut to black for two wee seconds and we're going to get up tomorrow morning and it's going to be the travel the travel aspect of this, this video, so... On the transfer to the airport, but I just wanted to kind of see my quick thoughts. I have a spare 15 20 minutes to go. You can call this the Mirachoro Hotels review. I start off of, of, of the pool, the pool is awesome. I was in it twice, which is un actually not like me because I've, I'm not, it's not I don't like water, I just I get bored in a pool, and it's probably just maybe just me just being me, but you know, I've been in it a, a couple of times. You know, here I need to experience a little bit more of it, so kind of jumped in the pool on Thursday and yesterday, so I just wish I got more shots, that's the only thing I was kind of, I was trying to, my, my plan was to get some shots for, of me in the pool, but, so I just need to do my face at the moment. One thing I didn't show you, you see that wee light there, that's the, uh, that's the, the indoor pool, which I never went in. It has a jacuzzi uh, and a sauna as well, uh, really good. I was going to do a few shots in there, but it did, you know, other things happen. So the view from the hotel room isn't the best, you know, because the pool is literally there and all the apartments are all up that way. You don't really get a, you don't have anything to look at if you're uh, in the uh, in the hotel room. But again, that's a good thing if you want a bit of peace and quiet. You know, you don't have screaming rains or splashing water or whatever constantly in the background when you're in the hotel room or on the balcony. But yeah, but I quite enjoy that. Oh yeah, and forgot to mention as a a pool bar, which is, it actually has a wet bar as well, you, I don't know if you can see the seats underneath the water but you can sit at the pool and have your drink, so that's another good thing. The, the hotel rooms also have uh, air con, all your, all your usual products and all that, you, you kind of seen that, but the, the air con can, is probably like the, the saviour for most of the nights, because it's, it's still about 28 degrees at night, so it's uh, the most coldest or most chilled out sleep you'll have. As for Carviero as a I think it's Caviero, I'm not quite sure, but I know the spelling of it. Um, it's a great little town. It's uh, really, it's not quiet, but it's not, it's not rowdy. There's no nobody run around, steaming drunk. You know, you get people drinking, but they're, they're, they're not steaming drunk. They can't, walk, and, and, you know, to the point where they can't walk. Um, a lot of good, nice wee restaurants as well. We've had a wee fair share. We were up, we were up that way last night. Had a nice spaghetti bodies down that end. We went uh, a couple of cafes, um, the Italian restaurant, nice wee bars in general. I popped some of the stuff in, in here as well because I actually took some footage uh, on it. And uh, we went on a wee train, kind of, you know, bus bus ride round uh, Cavero, and uh, it was it was pretty nice. I felt like it was quite boring, but you know, if you had wains and uh, rain but 
for somebody about my age, we kind of just went, like, we'll, we'll, we'll do it for something to do. It basically takes you in like a, a figure of eight, it comes up this way, goes round, and it's uh, pretty enjoyable. I can't remember the exact name of the cliffs that the boardwalk is on, I'll, I'll, I'll put it right here. And uh, we were on that twice, got a lot of shots, my Instagram kind of, it helped my Instagram out a lot because the, just the view is stunning. I said to my mum that I wanted to bring my drone up with me and that's an, an issue we'll talk about later but um, that would have been epic, you know, it would have been, it, it would have probably made a holiday if I, if I had to take my drone up and get a full shot of the of that full boardwalk and uh, even just to go up for five minutes, get a shot, come back down, it would, it would be absolutely amazing but uh, again we'll, we'll talk about that problem maybe in tomorrow's, tomorrow's video so um, but yeah that boardwalk you know I seen it on Google Maps and I thought we need to go down there and actually check it out because you know I, I forget the view we're only two streets away from it we're actually not that far from from the sea um, probably why there's a bit of a wind I don't think you can hear it in the in the audio but um, all in all I'll give Calvero a good 4 out of 5 not for any other reason just out of five and uh, the hotel as well I guess a good I guess it's four star rating as well so so now I'm just going to chill out and wait on this transfer and probably the next two minutes <laughs> uh, for you guys I'll be back home for me it'll be about an hour for me it'll be about an hour six hours so sucks for me it's good for you guys <laughs> I, I, I didn't really video a lot of the the kind of you know, coming home, eh, the actual in Scotland part. Um, I felt like you know I was running out of battery with all the all the aerial shots. I kind of felt like I was uh, flying my drone for me second. And then I, a few moments I was kind of saying to myself, "That's a good shot." I mean, I'm actually in the air, so it's really good. It's really clear kind of coming back into Scotland, which very really happens anytime. I, um, anytime I usually go abroad. Um, it's usually 
really cloudy and it's hard to kind of get to really, you know, do anything video wise. It can happen with Lanzarote. Um, the same with, uh, you know, actually being in, in Lanzarote. You know, flying at Lanzarote it was quite, it wasn't cloudy, cloudy, but it was, it was cloudy enough that it was, to obscure the view. Uh, so yeah, I'm back here. So I'm just going to uh, chill out now. Um, by the way, my room is actually immaculate when I came in, in but it's just uh, that's basically everything that's out my case and out my hand luggage. Um, I'm just going to sit and just chill. Maybe do I say that? Maybe do it tomorrow, but anyways, you guys know the script by now. Just like, subscribe, comment, share, and re remember. I'll see you later.